A few weeks ago I tried to run uh, Tinkercad on the Pi 2 uh, by enabling the OpenGL drivers on the Pi. So since my Pi 3 arrived today I decided to retest see how it performs with the Pi 3. So I installed Chromium uh, on this uh, Pi here. It takes a few seconds to boot up. I think this boot up process is only a few seconds faster than the Pi 2 was. Then I'll uh, navigate to Tinkercad. So for those who don't doesn't know what Tinkercad is, it's um, a simple online tool to create your own 3D designs, either for uh, just modeling or to uh, create models for your 3D printer. So I run a code club with uh, kids in my local area and we use Tinkercad because it's really easy to get started with, yet it's powerful enough uh, to get everyone uh, to create fairly complex designs. So I'll just log in. So this whole website is a little bit faster than it was on the Pi 2. So we'll uh, create a new design. Takes a few seconds to load up, uh, which it does on my laptop as well. So once we're in this uh, work plane area, uh, we'll just design a, a rather simple model. So we'll just start by uh, creating a ruler so we can get the sizes of everything. So this box there is a 20 by 20 cube. So we'll create it a bit bigger, 40 millimeters on the X axis and 35 on the Y axis. And we'll make it a bit uh, not as tall. So we'll uh, make it five millimeters tall. And then we'll just create a hole in the middle here. So we'll drag out a cylinder just place it there and we're going to make this as a hole in this slab down at the bottom. So we'll color it as a hole and then to make the circle fit in the center of the, of the base we'll adjust it. So along the x-axis and along the y-axis and then we can group and then we've got a little piece with a hole going through it. And just scrolling around the work plane here, this is a lot faster than and smoother than it was on the Pi 2. Uh, this is rather good, I would say. Perfectly usable for, uh, for most applications. So even if I zoom in and view around or translate left or right or up or down. Uh, this whole process is fairly smooth. There is some choppiness if we move a lot, like if we move into the figure and zoom back out. Uh, but still I'd say this is pretty good. So this is a fairly simple item. Uh, so we'll just have a look at how it performs on a more complex one. I recently redesigned my uh, code club uh, space. Uh, we don't have too much space, so we need to be able to fit as much as possible into the space that we have. So when I redesigned or wanted to move the furniture around, I created this mock-up uh, to see how much space there will be around the furniture and, and other things. So this is a fairly fairly large object and it has a, quite a bit of items in it. So we'll open that up. It takes a few seconds to get to the work plane and then it takes a little while to for it to show up the, um, the actual model 
but there it's finished. So this is fairly large. I mean, the wall here is, if we get a ruler out, this is 672 millimeters this way. So this model here is quite large. And even so, it pans around smoothly. We can select an object, this table here, and zoom in. And it's fairly smooth here as well. It's a little bit choppy, but sometimes that happens on my uh, laptop as well. So I guess the upside here is that there is a lot of things going on on the server side, and the client here just renders so it doesn't have to worry about a lot of things that it would if if this was running as a client application or as a, a desktop application. So it's a bit more choppy here when we zoom out, but still, it's uh, I would say this is workable. Uh, the kits that I have in my uh, Gold Club really creates something this big, anyways. Um, but this makes it a lot easier for uh, for us to do 3D modeling because they don't really have to bring their own laptops. So that was just a quick rundown on the Pi 3 uh, using the experimental OpenGL drivers uh, and using Chromium.